Alex, the season as it, as it speaks, so can you tell how it goes for you? Uh, so far, it's been pretty good. You know, I'm technically ranked number one in the world right now, which is uh, good, but, you know, it doesn't really mean much until, uh, unless I can get the gold medal at the Olympics, you know. That's always been the goal, and, you know, n number one in the world is a nice consolation, but, uh, you know, at the end of the season, if I'm not, you know, at the top of the podium in Rio, um, it's, uh, you know, it's a bit of an afterthought, um, but, you know, I fenced well for most of the season, got a gold medal in Tokyo, uh, top eight in Paris, a bunch of different results, you know, generally pretty good. And obviously there are going to be t uh, days like today where I don't perform as well as I think I should or uh, I'm able, like, as, as well as I think I can as well. So, you know, um, unfortunately today was one of those days, but uh, I'm ready to back bounce back and uh, get ready for the team event tomorrow and then Shanghai as the last Grand Prix of the season. You qualified for the Rio with your team, so how difficult it was for you and your teammates? You know, um, coming from the American region, at least for us, uh, it wasn't uh, as tough as maybe the European region or the Asian region. Um, luckily, not, uh, we were able to qualify in the top four in the world, so uh, that was a huge breeze um, off our back if we, we didn't have to compete with the other American um, uh, countries for that one spot. But uh, between the, the team, uh, it was a tough competition because, you know, only three people fence individual and we send the fourth for team. And uh, with the top, uh, with the American team being number one, three, four, and like nine or ten in the world, it's really tough to be one of the top three in that group. So um, I just put my head down, fenced as, much, as hard as I could. Uh, luckily, you know, I did well at the World Championships with a silver medal in Moscow and a gold medal in Tokyo. So that put me ahead um, for most of the season. And then from there, it was just about keeping uh, a good track record, top eight, top 16s, you know. And then uh, finally in Bonn, I was able to qualify my spot for sure uh, with my teammate, Garrick Meinhardt. And then for a race and miles, it came down to uh, Havana. So, you know, at least uh, we didn't have to come down to the last competition. <laughs> You already take part in Olympics here in London, so can you remember how it was for you? And is something changed in your fencing or in you from this moment? Um, I mean, going to the Olympics in London was a, a dream come true. Uh, ever since I was a kid, m my whole dream was to be an Olympic champion you know, and uh, beat my dad. He was a three-time Olympian, so I should at least make three and then hopefully four. Um, so being able to go to my first one at 18 was uh, an amazing experience, uh, something I'll never forget. But also I was a little young, a little uh, inexperienced, and that it showed in the competition. I was able to take apart my first bout um, really well. You know, I studied and fenced uh, the Canadian Lalonde really well and fenced him, beat him 15-6 pretty handily. But my next bout against Cher Misnov, uh, one of the more experienced fencers at the tournament, um, obviously he was a medal contender at the games as well. Um, he was able to outsmart me and fence me better than, and I couldn't change, you know. I, I, he was hitting me on the same action over and over again, and usually uh, I think I was a little too excited to be in the event, and so, you know, I wasn't able to make the change uh, necessary to really give him a f good fight. What's more important for you, to get a result in individual event or in team? Um, you know, both of them are important. I, I, w I would love to establish myself as one of the greatest individual fencers of all time by getting this gold medal in Rio, but um, I also realize that the team event is an amazing opportunity for the U.S., considering we have number one, th three, four, and nine in the world, you know, on days that we're fencing well, we're unstoppable. So, you know, to be able to prove to the world that USA is a, a force to be reckoned with, especially in the fencing world, is, uh, would be an amazing, amazing feat. Thank you and good luck. Thank you.